Hi guys, so we'll be reading Mouse's Big Day by Linda Monks. So yeah, let's get started. It was Mouse's first day at school. Even though she hadn't left home yet, she decided she didn't like it. Not one bit. Come along now. It's time to go, said Mummy. I don't want to, said Mouse completely. You'll like it when you get there, said Mummy. I don't want to, muttered Mouse. There will be lots of other children to play with, said Mummy. I don't want to, said Mouse. Just think of all the fun things you'll do and the exciting things you'll learn, said Mummy. I don't want to, shouted Mouse. Mouse walked as slowly as she could, and it took them a long time to get to school. But when they finally arrived, Miss Hoot, the teacher, was waiting. Hello, Mouse. Welcome to, to, to school. Come in and hang up your coat, she said. Mouse pretended she hadn't heard. Everyone else was already inside. Come and sit with us, Mouse said Miss Hoot kindly. I don't want to, whispered Mouse from behind her coat. Miss Hoot stood in front of the class. Today, I want you to go out and find something. Something special. Maybe something only you can find. Mouse didn't want to, but was worried that she'd sound silly if she had said it out loud again. As soon as they were outside, the other children ran around, rummaging under the rocks, looking around leaves, digging in the dirt, and peering in the pound. Mouse felt too shy to join in, even though it did look fun. Owl found some feathers and imagined what kind of bird they had came from. Rabbit found a little carrot. It had been bigger once. Frog found one of his brothers or sisters. He couldn't quite tell. Mole found gold and wondered who had buried it. And Mouse? Where was Mouse? She had disappeared. They couldn't see her anywhere. They all had to look for her. But Miss Hoot knew where she was. She had hidden in a hole and had a little cry. Are you coming out now? asked Mo, taking hold of her paw. I don't want to, said Mouse in a very small voice. Although she really did want to. So Miss Hoot and the children carried all the things they had found, including Mouse, back to the classroom. Mouse quite enjoyed the ride. They got back to school. They put everything on the table and had a good look at what they had discovered. Mouse loved the feathers. She found that frog was ticklish, and she'd never tasted carrot before. She found that it was crunchy. Mouse thought that the tadpole looked funny. She found that it had little legs. And she loved the gold. Mouse found that it really suited her. Mouse wished she'd found something special to share with her new friends too. Tidy up now, children. It's time to go home, and said Miss Hoot. I don't want to, giggled Mouse. And I don't want to, laughed Mo. And I don't want to, joined in all the rest. It was then Mouse realized that she had found something after all. She found that she didn't like school. She loved it, and she couldn't wait to find out what tomorrow brings her. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please comment down below and let me know your recommendations for the next book that I should make my video on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!